Hello, hello, new construction friends, family, and countrymen. Today, I'm coming at you from North Creek Village once again because we want to tour the Ingleside, which is a beautiful 2,975 square foot, four bedroom, three bath home. We're about to tour here in just one second. If you're not familiar, we are in Huntersville, North Carolina which is one of the most popular suburbs around the entire city. And this particular community has excellent location. And if you want to learn about the schools, you want to learn about everything that might make a difference as to whether or not you want to call this particular community home. At the end of this video, I'll share another video I made that has everything you need to know about both Huntersville as well as this specific community. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name's Lucas Roller. I'm a realtor that helps people just like you to find and buy the perfect home here in the beautiful Queen City. So whether you're moving in nine days or in nine months, whether you're moving across town or across the planet, like one of my clients recently was coming from Australia, then give me a call, text, or email anytime. I get calls, texts, and emails every single day from people just like you looking for help with making that smooth move. And I absolutely love it because it's the only thing that makes all the hard work that I put into videos like this one actually worth it. So with that, let's go tour the Ingleside. So here on this particular tour, again, Ingleside coming in at 2,975 square feet now, I wanna call attention to the few of the exterior features and also tell you a little bit just about, you know, tease the area around here. We got Publix walking distance from here. I actually walked over there for lunch today. It's maybe a three, four minute walk from right here. And look at this, you see this? All hardy plank, beautiful fiber cement board exterior, weathers very well, looks great you're gonna notice a little bit of discoloration along the bottom edge there. It's not actually true discoloration. It's just where some of that Carolina clay soil, uh, you know, got rained on, splashed up on there pre prior to, and then getting all the sod down and getting the sod to take hold. This is a beautiful craftsman style uh, two car garage. Again, four beds, three baths. We're gonna check this all out. It does have a bedroom down and a uh, master bedroom down at that. Coming inside, whoo, feels good to be out of that heat. You gotta also notice here, all these doors are eight foot doors. I'm six foot six, just for you know height comparison. And all these doorways as well. It's like an eight and a half foot doorway. So it's very tall. Very tall floor plan. So right off that way, we got that bedroom down. Back there, we have the, the master suite down. And we'll check out all of this as we go, but we already know you wanna get a little sample, little taste of the goodies. And so I'm gonna deliver with this kitchen. What? Beautiful. When I first walked in, I was like, wow, that is gorgeous. Just absolutely beautiful. This is, such a statement floor plan. Like the, the floor plan is such a statement. Everything from, again, the, the 42 inch upper cabinets, built in full double ovens, framed out fridge area or fridge slot. You got a nice little place for Keurig machine or espresso machine or something. You know, proper pantry with your proper built ins. A giant kitchen island here. Like, look at that kitchen island. You could easily fit five, six people at that bar style seating. And not even to mention yet, the fixtures are excellent. They are exquisite selections. And then just feel, feel the space out here of how stately these double sliding doors feel flowing into your covered back patio here. So as we come out here, you're gonna notice, plus they're so easy, these are so easy to open. Many times these are difficult, even brand new, very difficult to open. These are super easy to just slide open after you get it unlocked. And look at the size and privacy of this. Like they, they give you the privacy screen as well as like you could put a nice bit, and this is solid too, mind you. Like a lot of people be, see this and be like, oh, this, you know, it's flimsy. No, like that's all 
I think that's also fiber cement board. You know, it's very solid. Looks great, feels great. Look at the size of this. This is like a 12 by 25, maybe 26, 12 by 26. If I had to guess, you could put a big hot tub over there, probably some nice patio furniture here, a little bit of outdoor living. If you wanted to, you could also put some patio pavers and you know, build an outdoor kitchen over there. It's just gorgeous here. Big fan. And again, these are all, this here also eight foot sliding glass doors. I'm going to uh, make sure, as my father would always request, not to let, let all the air outside, cool down the outside, any of that. We're gonna close that up. And feel, again, the size of the space is just crazy. Even the pantry over there, eight foot doors. All of it, eight foot doors. Great lighting selections. And actually, I was looking at this earlier. I thought this was super fun. Just like the feel of this, like that that handle. It's a very, it's a very unique handle. Of course, it's all soft shut. Of course, you got the built-in five burner gas range. Of course, you've got a ton of storage here. Look at that. Oh, that one is still being installed. We will leave that for the builder. They're still doing QA walks. Don't worry. This is all. All normal, typical stuff that you find at this stage. All soft shut, tons and tons of storage throughout. And again, these cabinets here, if you even, you can even hear it. It's just a heavier cabinet than what you're gonna find many other places. And of course, this is all Frigidaire Gallery. Again, comparable to your GE appliances. Um, uh, cafe line if you're familiar i used to work for ge appliances i was a oh and you even got the stainless and uh, stainless steel interior on those um i used to work as an engineer manufacturing advanced manufacturing engineer actually for ge appliances and so i know more about appliances. i've forgotten more about appliances than most people have ever learned so in here separated off from the rest of the living area you got your owner's master suite We'll check that out here in just one second. We gotta, of course, check out everything else along here, like your garage access and drop zone. Cubbies where you can drop your shoes or store stuff as need be. And check out the size of this garage. It's a nice full-size two-car garage. You're gonna notice here, full-size, full-size, plenty deep, extra wide. But what I wanted to call your attention to it's actually here to so this back wall. Would normally run across, but they wanted to give you, the designer wanted to give you the extra space to tuck back your water heater, as well as maybe even put in a, uh, you know, chest freezer or something like that out of the way. And so you could still get, even behind that water heater, easily, you know, two trucks, two SUVs, whatever you gotta, whatever you gotta fit in here very very easily they did finish out under the stairs with some storage i'll just give you a quick peek of that so it's combo uh closet storage you got an office here with double glass french doors which would be again look at those nice big windows i like the river rock they use for the drainage in between these very cool it's got a very stately feel. Like this could look really great on Zoom to have those glass French doors in the background. And again, we'll go check out that master suite here in just a second, but there's also a guest bedroom on the first floor as well. And it's a great size. You're gonna notice there's hard surfaces throughout, throughout the house with the exception of the bedrooms. And they even put in this high traffic carpet here. It holds up great under lots of use, lots of wear and tear, so it'll be Looking good for many years to come. Good side closet. But again, these windows, I want you to notice like this here, you can see all your neighbors. This is gonna be such a pretty, such a pretty street to live on. Many great finishes, many great memories that will be made here. And again, these are all, all these lots are like over a fifth of an acre 
close to or over a fifth of an acre. So they're good size lots. They've got some good space to them. They're putting quartz in all, all of these as well. I believe you can get granite if you so choose, but nice counter uh, counter sink or counter sunk sink. Then with the uh, nice, you know, nice size vanity, you got some extra room there too, obviously for extra, you know, if you, you've got a guest stay and they need a place to put their stuff. Deep tub, deep full size tub, full tile enclosure. And we're bougie, so we're putting delta in all of these. You can see the delta right there. Yep, all throughout. And again, that nice full size tub. So there's your guest bedroom. Now time for, how do you say, the, uh, the piece de resistance, I don't know. I used to take French in college, I was not great. But one day, one day maybe I'll uh, have enough time and money to get great. Also then they've of course got the, um, the counter sunk back uh, microwave. And then again, look at the size of that island. It's just a massive island. And they also have all the, um, the cabinet, the cabinetry facades on that as well. So it just looks really, really good. Like it just looks awesome. And of course the, uh, the outlet right there too. Oh, and I forgot to also mention, this is one of my favorite colors of your flooring LVP. Even the ultra luxury homes all have LVP now because it's just better flooring. This here, is I like this tan is a grayish tan because it's very neutral. It's very timeless. If we see design trends go into more tans again, not that I'm expecting that, but maybe a little bit warmer uh, colorways, it'll still look great. If we see more embracement of the grays again, it'll continue to look great. It just really adds some good warmth to the entire colorway of the home without giving up some of those modern niceties and modern design touches that we've seen. So coming in here again, eight foot doors throughout. This is with a 10 foot ceiling in here, crown molding all the way around. And did I mention how big this is? This is a huge, like 12 by 20 if I had to guess. This is a big room, big room, lots of space. And look at all that green, all that, all those trees are getting saved. They're keeping it all. It's gonna look so, so, so pretty. Like I said, these are not small lots. These are nice, big, beautiful lots that you can do a lot with. In here, you got, of course, your water closet for a little bit of privacy or privacy. If you're feeling a little silly about how you're gonna say it, they are in the process of swapping out fixtures to make sure everything matches, you know? So, uh, you're going to notice though, beautiful tile throughout. You got your bench. I don't know if you can hear that really nice tactile feel. They've got this honeycomb all over the floor here. Very similar feel to it. And then the bench, and then it's going to be a combo. Uh, spray head and rain shower head over there. Let's check this out. So much cabinet or uh, countertop space here on on this uh, not lavatory. I'm blanking today on what stuff is called. I didn't sleep enough last night, so guess that's on me. But you still are gonna have nice uh, linen closet right there. And this is one of my favorite features of this floor plan. So, you know, even if you're like, okay, you know, there's the stately uh, design in that great room, but you know, it's okay. It's, it's, it's cool. It's whatever. Okay. You know, you got a little bit of, little bit of, uh, on master on suite, uh, closet there. Okay. You, you got a pretty good sized closet, right? Oh, but it keeps going and going and going. So there's, all of this storage here, there's, it's a very good sized closet. You know, you can fit a lot in here, but wait, there's more. So this is the other thing that I think is very fun. Also over here, you're gonna have direct access to the laundry room. 
as well as built-in folding table and a spot to slide your hampers out of the way. So it's very convenient, direct access, door right in, well designed, I'm a huge fan, and I really think they did a great job. So enough with the first floor, there's this little bit of a, a surprise that I wasn't expecting when I saw that second floor that I think you might enjoy as well. So we're gonna go check that out, but first take note of how, just how much presence that stairwell offers. And you know, obviously you can always get the iron slat instead if you're more of a fan of that than the, the painted wood slat. They did go with the high traffic carpet all the way up. But you know, you can, anything's possible. Anything is possible. And with, um, with our team of new construction experts too, even if this one or any builder doesn't offer exactly quite what you're looking for, we can make it happen after close as well. For anything, literally anything. Check out the size of this bonus room. This place is crazy. This is like a 24 by 24, if I had to guess. 22 by 24. Like this is a huge bonus room. And it offers both great natural light. Like picture just hanging out in here, maybe playing ping pong, maybe playing pool. Maybe you put a, uh, you know, baby grand up here. You're playing piano, enjoying all the sunlight coming in. Or maybe you got, you know, play date for the kids. Maybe you got a play date for the puppies. Maybe you got a, a date on your calendar to just not talk to anybody and enjoy doing nothing and hiding out from the world. You can do all of that here and more. You could put a giant, like if you wanted to, cause I've had a client that wanted to previously and it's almost impossible to find a place where you can put a 178 inch projector screen, but guess what? You can do that here too. And let's you got all those holiday decorations. You got a, you know, big ass Christmas tree. You don't know what to do with it. Well, guess what? You don't have to know. Cause you also have, and it keeps going. I won't, I won't go all the way back in there. Cause I don't need a, it, it's, it goes back a ways, but you can, you have all this walkout storage back in there where you could put anything and everything you could ever possibly hope to store. Um, up here also, in addition to that crazy bonus room, it is a zoned thermostat as well. So you can keep upstairs. However, people like it downstairs however people like it you got your linens closet up here you got one two bedrooms up here and you also have a jack and jill that we'll check out here in one second but look this here great size bedroom this is probably a eh, 10 by 13 maybe and this is going to be a walk-in closet over here and it's good floor space too in those closets as well as over here they're also going to give you extra that's right look at this look at this extra walkout storage in here as well all the decorations in the world you throw really anything at this and you will you will have plenty of space to store whatever you got to store so not only that again you're gonna have your Jack and Jill right here, two sink vanity, and then they separated out, you're gonna notice they separated out the tub and toilet, because who's using both at the same time? Rarely, if ever. So you get really good, again, really good functionality from this space. And this was popular during the early 2000s as well, as you, if you look at what we call the vinyl village homes. The only difference was the layouts, I think were done very poorly compared to this. This is excellent layout, efficient use of space, doesn't feel super cramped. And again, you're getting all of this beautiful countertop space on that gorgeous uh, marble-esque quartz. And again, they continued those soft shuts all the way through this home. It's hard not to be a huge fan. It's hard, in fact, it's impossible. And then also here, this is a really good size room. I don't know if you can tell, this is again, nine foot ceilings on the second floor, hard to find. And you know, this is a solid 12 by 12 room, plus a one foot bump out over there. And also an entire walk-in closet right here. 
Good floor space again. We love to see it. We love to see it. And even over here, just these little touches that are great, both for the architectural appeal and that curb appeal, as well as then again, just functionally the natural light coming in. So there you have it. That was the Ingle side here at beautiful North Creek Village in Huntersville, North Carolina. If you hope to make a smooth move here or anywhere around Charlotte in the next nine days or in the next nine months, then give me a call, text, or email. I love getting those calls, texts, and emails, and I look forward to hearing from you specifically. And if you want to check out all the different floor plans they've got available here and also a video I put together of the pros and cons, the good, the bad of both Huntersville as well as this community in particular, even the exact schools and school ratings and all that stuff, then you're going to want to check out this playlist that I put together just for you right here. Go check that out now. My name's Lucas Roller. I'm your realtor to find and buy a home here in the beautiful Queen City. And as always, until next time, hope to show you around town.